Hey there YouTube, um, this is a change. I was doing Aeroponic, now I'm doing Aquaponic. Uh, I figured out that was a more efficient, more eco-friendly and I didn't need to use anything except fish. So, let me show you here how it's made. Fairly simple. You got fishies down there. They're hiding your new redfish. Fairly simple. Got five of them. This is my old bucket that I was using for my Aeroponic, which I recycled. I cleaned it up. There's a pump there. And a few items there to uh, keep my fish healthy and happy. So a place to hide and all that. And uh, those are bubblers. Well, it's a bubbler, so simply uh, pumping air into the system so the fish got hair. And uh, the pump here is the same pump as I was using in the other system. It's just going all the way up there. Here. And uh, so basically uh, the fish are producing ammonia when they uh, breathe underwater they produce ammonia and uh, that ammonia needs to be pumped into the system here where those clay pellets are they call that uh, clay pellets fairly simple uh, you have them a uh, mini size you can buy that at any hydroponic store or online if you want to. Uh, they call that hydrocorn, slay pellets, uh, hydroton, uh, many names for them. All the same thing. So, what I got here is another plastic basket, which is, by the way, reinforced underneath. Not something that they don't show all the time. I got a wood here all the way down there and I reinforce the wood on the side to make sure that this container here don't flip any side and I could have put another one on that side too so it would squeeze the plastic but you know I'm always testing so cannot make one thing perfect the first time this is a filter which is the same filter that you use for fish uh, just wrap it around there so when the water drip it, it keeps the water clean for the fish so here I was talking about hydroton sorry I'm jumping from left to right there but that's what it is uh, the water is coming in you can still see that there is a little bit of water there if you can this is the height of water and this there is no water so it's filling up so it's coming there in that tube after that it's filling up all the way up there is a bell siphon here which I'm gonna post a, a picture of the system how it's working there at the end of the video so you're gonna be able to see all the little details so what it does is that it's filling up when it reaches the height of uh, it's like how can I explain that when it reached the height as inside that bowl there I got a tube like this so when it reached that that height there it's gonna start entering the tube and it will create a siphon the bowl is on top of that and uh, it's creating like a the vacuum chamber around it and once the water reaches the level where you pierce the hole on the bottom of that vacuum chamber because you got the bottle there and after that you got the vacuum chamber around it and you need to pierce hole on each side of that vacuum chamber so when the water reaches the proper level the air will enter the vacuum chamber and stop the flow it's fairly simple, you can check that over the internet. Bell siphon, that's what you need to know. And uh, 
this is what my filter is attached to very simple to make you can make that out of pop bottles and stuff really cheap and uh, basically you got the pellets there the hydrotons or whatever you want to name them and uh, the fish are making ammonia and after that is being transferred in there and once the water go down uh, there is bacteria in there after a while it forms up and all that and nitrate and all that will form out of ammonia once that is done the nitrate and the nitrate will feed the plant after that once the plant is fed and all that this water will go back to the fish without ammonia of course because it has been transformed that means that the fish have now clean water so this is acting as a filter for the fish and it's also feeding the plant a big circle and that's how it's working in nature that's how it's working here so I'm saving a bunch of money here due to the fact that I don't have to use uh, bowls like uh, that you buy at the store with the proper nutrient for your plants they are like uh, hydroponic and all that basically I'm saving a bunch of money there now now that you know the big circle how it's working in a bell siphon and uh, the, the, the ammonia that the fish, fish produce plus the bacteria system and all that are making the plant grow and all that that's uh, there's another thing that you need is light and I figured out that I could buy one of those thing here it's really cheap really really cheap this stuff is a security blanket you can buy it at many many store I got my Walmart three dollars in the uh, hunting section uh, very cheap put that there I took back my three lamps which I got off the internet um, those lamps are lamps that are let me get you a better look there made with LEDs red the blue and everything that the plant needs basically red blue and white let me put that there and uh, all that together is creating the perfect environment for the plant to grow. Obviously, I close on life now. You can see that those plants have been, well, they they have been planted like two, two days, three days ago. Already going up very fast. Got Peter and peace and romaine lettuce growing up. It's amazing how fast it's growing I, I'm not believing this myself and uh, let me just show you what's the result once you plugged in the light sorry there alright of course everything is on timer the pump is on the timer too uh, well you only have to use the pump like three or four times a day just to keep this stuff so that it's not dry let's say four times a day that's enough sometimes three times depends on how, what's the temperature so that's what the lights are doing it's really intense as you can see and uh, with the foil it's helping a lot uh, huge difference anyways that's what it is that's how it's working